Do you ever just sit back and think about how absolutely insignificantly small we all are? Because I sure do. And when considering the sun, it becomes all the more apparent. It might look small from the side saddle seat of a motorcycle car rolling down the highway, but that's only because it's over 149 million kilometers away. That means if you were to remain in that side car and the motorcyclist kept their pedal to the metal off towards the sun, and y'all were traveling at a speedy 100 kilometers per hour, it would take more than a century to reach that massive star. Once you arrived, you would see that it's not so small after all. And in fact, it's 109 times larger than the Earth, with its mass clocking in at 330,000 times out of the Earth. The sun is big, the sun is heavy, the sun is the center of our solar system. But you probably already knew that. A little less knowable is the answer to the question we're posing today. We can hypothesize and speculate all we like, but we won't know for sure unless it happens. Wait and see, I guess. Hello fellow friends and philosophers, and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we are asking a question regarding solar size. What if our sun was smaller than the Earth? Does this count as a big question if we're reducing the size of something? Either way, before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more stellar synthesis. Outrageous. Let's begin. There are a few different ways we can look at this question. First, we'll look at the isolated immediate effects. What would happen if the sun functioned exactly the same but was just much smaller? We won't worry about the implications of a star that size at this point. Then we'll discuss the actual possibility of the sun surviving in a state like that. Finally, and this is a little off base, we'll consider the possibility of our sun turning into a black hole. Perfect. With these ideas outlined, let's take a look at the implications of a science fiction sun the size of a habitable planet. As mentioned before, the sun is big and it's heavy. As such, it has a massive gravitational pull. This is why the planets in our solar system orbit around it. Without a super large anchor to hold the planets on their circular course around the sun, the planets will continue their forward motion in a straight line off into space. This would continue until another great gravity source pulled the planets into orbit, or they collided with something. Kinda down for option two. Planet-sized asteroids playing bumper cars sounds like a dream I had one time. A smaller sun also means less light, less heat. The lovely habitable zone we enjoy so greatly on planet Earth would be no more, basically dooming us to the fate of icy Jupiter. Lovely, right? A bunch of frozen rocks hurtling in a straight line through the darkness of outer space? Really makes you think about the pointlessness of it all, doesn't it? Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. Okay, so now that we've considered what might happen if the sun were that size and still functioning as a big nuclear furnace, now we've got to talk about what would actually happen. It would burn out. So all the same stuff would happen, but the sun would stop being a star. There are a few different classifications of stars based on mass which determine size and color. The bigger they are, the hotter and bluer they become. Conversely, a smaller star will be cooler and redder. Our sun is a G-type main sequence star. This is also known informally as a yellow dwarf, while being closer to white than yellow. Smaller than a supergiant, bigger than a red dwarf. Speaking of red dwarfs, the smallest one is around 10 times the size of the Earth. Anything smaller than that wouldn't be able to sustain the core thermonuclear fusion that makes a star a star. Are you connecting the dots here? If anything smaller than 10 Earths wouldn't be big enough to burn bright, what would happen to a sun smaller than the Earth? It would burn out, leaving behind some carbon for alien diamond salesmen to pick up. To recap, if the sun was smaller than the Earth, it wouldn't function as the sun anymore, and all the planets in its orbit would fly up into space. I keep picturing it being a lot more slapstick than it probably would be, but humor me. Imagine the sun just snuffing out and all the planets whizzing off in different directions, like, see ya. Lastly, we've got an even more hypothetical idea to put to the test. What if we compress the sun down to that size, rather than having it all magically just shrink? What would happen if we squished all the sun's incredible mass down to something much smaller than the planet Earth? Would it become a black hole? Well, no. The sun is actually too small to become a black hole. There just isn't enough matter in our big burning ball to become that gravitationally dense. If the sun were 10 times bigger, then we'd be talking. However, it is not. So it won't become a black hole, even if we ask it really nicely. If asking nicely worked though, and we were able to compress the sun enough to become a black hole, it would end up being less than 6 kilometers across. Way smaller than the Earth. And interestingly enough, it would exert the same amount of gravitational force that it does now. As it would contain no additional matter and would be no closer to the planets than it is now, the solar system would function essentially the same, except for the fact that it wouldn't be radiating heat and light anymore. Orbits would remain the same, habitability would not. It would be cool, 
both literally and figuratively. It would be neat to see, but also extremely chilly and dark, and we wouldn't survive. Huh. So to summarize, if our sun was smaller than the earth, the galaxy as we know it would change. Planets would fly up into the distance and get really cold. The sun would stop acting like a star and would end up a filthy diamond floating in space. And if science fiction kicked in, we might see a tiny black hole, but that's not actually happening. Not that the sun is going to shrink anytime soon either, but it's fun to imagine. What do you think? Are there any other extraterrestrial ideas you'd like to see put to the test? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your funkier ones from what if Yogg Sothoth was real. Internet Warrior asks, what if my girlfriend was real? Then you could take her out to a nice dinner, introduce her to your parents, maybe move in together sometime. I'm so happy for you. L asks, what if? Damn, I've been wondering that my whole life. George Papa Dimitriou says, Yog Sathoth sees us even in our toilets. Correct. Enjoy pondering that next time you've got to go. Exalted Den says, I'm at school right now, but F it, I'm a watch. Absolute madman. Somebody put a leash on this one. He's out of control. Ernest the Mad Hatter Dash 2 says, See, honestly, in my opinion, I think the more we keep trying to spread the fear of losing your soul and mind, which honestly aren't even actual things, just social constructs that we place morals on. But what I'm trying to say is, is it truly evil for a man to use soap to kill a germ? Because honestly, I'd rather have cosmic truth and risking my soul to learn that it doesn't even matter. Gives you more opportunities. I mean, I see where you're coming from, and I respect the curiosity above all mentality. There's plenty to gain in theory, but we don't know what might be on the other side which means we've got a lot to lose as well, and most folks aren't exactly the gambling type. So they're not going to be super down for the whole cosmic mind rend. That's all the time we have for today. Before I float off, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more space-based stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.